Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Max and Juan cast. Max, how you doing tonight? Doing good, man. How about yourself? Uh, when it's the Chargers, whoop some ass. But uh, one of my fantasy Raiders won. Uh, I was feeling a lot better yesterday. Uh, we're doing the podcast Monday night. A uh, little bit different schedule, but I'm feeling all right. What about you? Dallas? Dallas win? No, it's cute. No, they didn't. It scared the fuck out of me, though, the end of the game. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment down below any thoughts, opinions that you guys have. This is week nine reactions. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with L.A. and New York tonight. I just want to start this off by saying terrible look for the Jets, man. They, they're they absolutely abysmal on fucking offense, dude. I feel so sorry for their defense. Their defense played their fucking heart out today. Did everything that they can against Justin Herbert and that Chargers offense. Um, just a couple of missed opportunities, man. I, I really thought uh, when Herbert winded up fumbling on one of those sacks and he somehow managed to get that ball back in his hands, I felt like that was the turning point, man. Um, Zach Wilson, nothing new, terrible. It's it's the Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson show. Uh, and it's unfortunate for the Jets, man, because I don't know if you've seen pregame, but Aaron Rodgers is throwing 50-yard bombs, tearing his Achilles like less than three months ago. Yeah, well, I just – I don't know if Aaron Rodgers plays – I mean, I think there's differences, but I feel like the Achilles heel of the Jets is going to be a big Achilles heel. It's, it's O-line play. Uh, last year, Rodgers was healthy with Green Bay. The O-line was bad. They were bad. So, I mean, obviously having Rodgers would have changed things, but this Jets team, it's – their O-line, which we kind of had hopes for, suffered a lot of injuries, but it's so bad. It is beyond fucking bad how, like, they can't block for shit. And, I mean, the, the Chargers just sold out to stop the run. And even when Zach Wilson seems to get to throw a good ball, the receiver drops it, there's a holding. Their offense is, is beyond bad, and their defense is just full of studs. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy to think because what are they now? Um, three and five? Five. Yeah, it's, they're not even out of shit. Yeah, that's the crazy thing, man. I, I just feel like this team would have been something um, – Pretty hard to handle in the regular season with Rodgers. I know they had their offensive line shit, but uh, you would just think Aaron Rodgers with this team at least brings them to playoffs. Just how good this defense is. Um, You're no worse than four and four with Rodgers at this point of the season. Yeah, exactly. And uh, as far as for the Chargers, um, Staley keeps on pushing along, uh, gets the job done. It's a great road win. Um, they'll lose a close one in Detroit next week and make us all question them. Then they'll play a shitty team. The you know what? Repeats. Let's look on the bright side. And I know this fucking pains me to do this. Um, but they could catch wind here. Uh, let's be real. They can be in that little contender spot for that seven spot or that six spot with Miami struggling. Um, you know, everyone but the Ravens really. Uh, and maybe the Bengals you can throw in there. Everyone else is kind of a question mark. You know, you got the Steelers sitting right there at five and three, but it's like, uh, you know what I mean? Like they're not really yeah, that legit. Yeah. So uh, on the bright side, the Chargers have a legitimate chance. They're they're getting the job done. They're beating the Bears. They're beating the Jets. Um, I'm pretty sure they probably play the Giants later on this year. So probably get another win against them. But uh, shot, I just want to give a big shout out to Keenan Allen, man. 10,000 yards, uh, second all time in Chargers history. I find it insane, Max, that he is extremely close to Antonio Gates' 11,000 yards. Don't you find I'm that kind of shocked? Crazy? Antonio Gates has 11,000 yards. Um, no, I don't think it's crazy just for the one. I just think the like the way football's played now, and you know, it is a little weird because you could also say Keenan Allen when he missed two straight years with knee injuries. Yeah, yeah. But Keenan Allen's probably gonna go down as one of the most underappreciated receivers. He's a borderline Hall of Famer. He's that good. Uh, he just never really played on great teams. Uh, so yeah, I really like Keenan Allen. Always been a big fan. I know you're a fan of him, even though he's a Charger. But you know, um, just a really good player. Congrats to him. Ten thousand yards is no joke, man. That's I was shocked when That's I really seen incredible. that. I because 
like you said, I didn't think he had it ten thousand fucking yards. To be yeah, honest. yeah, I didn't think so either. Because what do you he, think his most yards in a year is? I would, I would say like thirteen hundred. I, I don't even think he's ever at fourteen. Maybe fourteen. I think he's more of a catch guy to me. He gets a shit ton yeah. of catches. Yeah, like I've I'd be surprised if you had anything close to. Are you looking at thirteen? So thirteen nine, like fourteen hundred. Okay. And then every other year, the uh, high is twelve hundred. Yeah. And that's like crazy to me because like it's not like you had two eighteen hundred like what A B have twice, like two hundred eighteen hundred yard years, you're at four thousand basically in two years. But like last year he only had seven hundred yards. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Great job, man. Yeah. Shout out to Keenan Allen. Uh Chargers are four and what three at this point? Yeah, four and three. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see where they go. Max, what's your theme of the week? Uh, for week nine, any themes of the week? You know, um, I don't know. I'm trying to really think because I mean, I feel like quarterback play. Just yes, I agree. quarterback fucking play. There was like, I don't know if that's like really wow outrageous, but like you know, you you talked about Kansas City and Miami struggling. I mean, there's a different case where Patrick Mahomes does, does enough to get it over the hump. You could talk about C.J. Stroud. I'm sure we will because C.J. Stroud is out of this fucking world. Yeah. Um, maybe a brush of fresh air. Brush of fresh air. <laughs> brush. A breath of fresh air. I don't know. One, I think just quarterback play. Quarterback play this weekend was really out of this world. Uh, yeah. It, I, I thought it was pretty terrible with – some of the quarterbacks that were playing, you know, you had DeVito out like who, there. I mean, yeah, but like, had, who else? Like Josh uh, Dobbs Rip, was ugly, but Ripken, like he got a dub. Ripkin was out there. Yeah. Uh, Mac Jones yeah. played like shit. Bajan was out there. Uh, Bryce Young played fucking terrible. Awful. Yeah. really just sold the bag. I don't yeah. know. To me, there wasn't like a huge theme of the week. It was kind of just like, like some guys really like, well, maybe the Ravens are for real. Or is the theme of the week? Well, let's talk about them. Uh, let's go ahead and start off there. Seattle against Baltimore. And Baltimore whoops their ass, dude. Uh, Are you G- buying it now or what? No, yeah. I'm buying it. Um, I bought it last week. I was a week earlier. I was like, you know, I think Baltimore's for real, dude. Yeah. There's something about these fuck. That defense is out of this fucking world. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited to see the uh, the film on their defense. And I'm really excited to see what they're doing in the run game. Uh, they ran the ball for almost like 300 yards on Sunday against a Seattle defense that isn't too fucking bad this year. Like, they're pretty fucking stout. And they take a lot of pride in stopping the run, and I find it shocking that Baltimore did that to them. They dismantled them, absolutely dismantled them. And it wasn't the Lamar show. It was, no, we're going to run the ball down your throat, and we're going to play – great defense and this defense max um it's amazing it's great marlon humphrey looks good they're stingy against the run uh jason away your boy uh looking like he's taking further steps and then just to think about it like this you have a guy like Clowney, where it's just like oh they have jadavion Clowney. like that's a big fucking deal dude like especially when he's not having to be the fucking alpha so the Ravens are legit, man. They're they're probably the best team in the AFC as of right now, especially with Miami dropping. Um, I'm excited for Baltimore, uh, Cincinnati. That's the matchup to see. I don't know when they play, but I want to see those two teams go at it. I believe Baltimore plays Cleveland next week, so that'll be a test in itself. But um, what do you think of Baltimore, Max? Well, they're they're the real deal one. Maybe later in the show, I want to have like an AFC and NFC tier talk, or maybe like give me your rankings. We can do that a little later if you want to like kind of speed through the matchups. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, that impressive win. I didn't think it'd be like that. I think Seattle's too talented to let that type of shit happen to them. Yeah. Um, but Baltimore plays their brand of football. Lamar Jackson's like nineteen and one against NFC teams. I wonder who the one losses. I wonder who that loss is too. Uh, but can't remember. Did the Eagles beat them one year? Was the Eagles like la- did the Eagles play, beat them last year? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, no, I can't remember. I can't really. Put I know they beat the Niners in the year the Niners went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, they did in that muddy 
brainy game. Yeah. The only Watch loss it. is when the Giants topped the Ravens 24-20 last year. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's like a Giants. That's great. That's fun. <laughs> but, no, um, they're, they're studs, man. Um, if you want to tie in the Kansas City-Miami game, uh, I actually uh, watched the whole thing, one, by the way. Just spoiler alert. I woke well, up at 6 fucking a.m. I didn't wake up at 6 a.m. I woke up uh, – it was already 7 nothing. Well, like – so about I, woke uh, up about I thought you would have woken o'clock. up at like nine fifty nine. No, I I didn't think uh, I I knew about the time change, but I woke up and I completely forgot about it. You know, uh, I woke up and it was seven o'clock and I was like, I feel pretty good. And I was like, uh, I don't feel that sleepy. Let me turn on the game and stayed awake. By the time I watched all the games, Max, and I finally got in my car. That's when I realized the fucking time change. I was like, oh, that makes sense. That's that's why I've been so fucking sleepy. <laughs> but uh, I, I did watch this game. I, I want to say a little bit something about Seattle, though, before we move on. Go for uh, it. Is with Seattle, are you panicking at all in this sense? The offense got absolutely destroyed. Geno Smith had a pick, no touchdowns. They couldn't run the ball with Kenny Walker. That's their bread and butter. It's like, okay, Geno Smith doesn't have to be Superman. He's efficient. He works off play action. That's what he does. But if they can't run the ball and this winds up being an issue, are you worrisome at all about Seattle? Like, are they flukes? I I, I just, look, I know it's one game, but from what I seen from that game, it was pretty fucking alarming. Yeah, maybe there's we're gonna have to have the discussion. Is this like the Geno Smith ceiling of his team? Is like you beat yeah. good teams, but when you go against the superpowers, he's not gonna do enough for you. I think Baltimore is just that good on defense, and like they've made a lot of quarterbacks look like crap. Yeah, um, just a bad week. I mean, hey, it's not Geno Smith's fault they gave up 300 fucking rushing yards. Yeah, that's really bad. That's 100%. abysmal. Hundred percent. That's why I really want to go back and watch that film. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Miami and KC. Uh, Kansas City winds up getting the win. This was a weird game. It was. It, it was a weird game. It started off twenty-one nothing by the Chiefs. Uh, mm-hmm. the, that last touchdown to get them to twenty-one was by a Tyreek Hill fumble on a weird play, and Brian Cook winds up taking it to the house. Lateral on the playoffs and a lateral. You know, yeah. what, I was, you know what I was thinking. One, um, is there any defender in today's NFL where if they get a pick, you're worried about them taking it to the crib? No, absolutely not. Dude, I had this discussion with Dak. I was watching one of the games with them, and I was like, Remember when Ed Reed got a pick? And you were like, That's a house call, like every fucking time. It seemed like, Yeah, uh, Charles Woodson too had a bunch. It just doesn't seem like there's pick six guys anymore. And people are going to be like, oh, it's Deron Bland. But it's like, no, you just jumped like a flat. Like, yeah. you didn't make 18 fucking guys miss and go 100 yards. But, um, yeah, uh, this game was weird, dude. I agree with you 100%. Um, the Chiefs do enough to win. Their defense really made life hell on Tua. Fumbles. Yeah. Uh, bad throws. Again, maybe there needs to be a discussion about, hey, what happens when can't – ha- this is the third time Miami's played a team that kind of had a plan for them. And pretty much, like, I would say the Bills' defense before all those injuries was, like, bordering on elite. Yeah. They fucking took it to them. The Eagles' defense took it to them. The Chiefs take it to them. That's the trend. I don't know what that says. Like, well, yeah, 70 on Bron- <laughs> Denver's different. Like, who yeah. gives a fuck? They suck. Yeah. I'm glad you bring that up. I'm, I'm going to say the elephant in the room. It's been going around social media, and everyone's been talking about it. Uh, they haven't beat a winning team, but a winning record uh, in a very long time. Uh, since this whole Tyreek Hill Tua era, so yeah, they've been beating up on the bad teams. Uh, I still, I still think they're a really good team. You know, they have a, they have a good offense. Um, I just think they they do they have a problem with beating these elite teams when they got to kind of step their game up to beat the elite quarterbacks, and it's hard. It's extremely hard. I'm not saying it's not, but. Uh, when you kind of when you have Waddle, when you have Tyreek Hill and you throw up a stinker like that, it's rough because we can't trust you at this point. We can't. I, I can't trust the Miami Dolphins. Um, there's really only one and a half teams, I would say. Uh, 
because Kansas City in itself on offense has its itch issues. Like Travis Kelsey wasn't getting involved. The run game was kind of eh. Mahomes made just enough plays, but uh, it's just it's just weird in the AFC right now, man. Um, if it wasn't for Baltimore, I wouldn't really think who to look look at and really trust. You know what? I take that back, Max. I'm I'm completely getting forgetting about Cincinnati because they're back. <laughs> they're back, obviously. So I would take that back. Mm-hmm. But besides those two teams, uh. Honestly, though, Tua, I didn't think he played horrible. I do think some sometimes his receivers kind of let him down, though. There was a couple of drop passes where I'm like, ah, you gotta, you gotta make a play on that one. No, I, I don't. I think the I think the offense for Miami struggled in general, not just Tua. I mean, they couldn't really run the ball. Like yeah, Mostert had a lot of his yards when the game was fucking over. Yeah. Like any time a quarterback has to play one dimensional, uh, a la Zach Wilson. Has to throw the ball forty nine fucking times. It's it's pretty much night night for quarterbacks unless it's Mahomes, Herbert, Burrow, Allen. But you brought up the Bengals on being back, and I, I kind of want to go there if you're okay with it. Yeah, uh, let's do me it. and you pick the Bengals. Uh, I kind of knew from the first drive, dude. I was like, the Bills are a middling team in the NFL right now. Uh, you can attribute that to injuries, lack of talent. Um, I, I just I truly believe this game was more uh, this game revealed a lot about both teams. I think the Bills are kind of phony. They're not going to be true contenders. Can they win a game? Sure. Maybe if Josh Allen gets super hot, they can make it to the Super Bowl. Josh Allen gives you a chance any team, any game because he's that fucking good. But the deficiencies of the Bills remain the same. Lack of difference makers. Hey, I did like Dalton Kincaid. I know he had the fumble one, but he's he's really popping. We kind of that's kind of the guy we saw at Utah or Utah State, or wherever he played. But they just don't make enough plays. Simple as that. Like they don't have a T. Higgins when Jamar Chase is getting double covered. They don't have that. Where the fuck Gabe Davis been ever since the Miami game? Nowhere. This is what they do. They have someone who vanishes. Yeah, they're banged up. That's not an excuse. It's just not. And unfortunately, you still have to go out there and perform. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. And you know what? This is not your first time saying this. You, you've you been on this from the get go, uh, especially on the offensive side. Do I feel for them on the defensive side? I do. Um, losing Tredavious White, losing Matt Milano. I, I know that's extremely hard and those are tough blows. But the offense, man, it's it's just not there. It's not. I think the signing of Leonard Fournette is just a sign of like desperate desperateness right now. Uh they can't flat out just run the ball. James Cook is not good enough. Latavius Murray is the oldest active player in football, as crazy as that sounds. He's not going to get the job done. Uh, like well, you say, their O line's not that good. It's really yeah. not. Like, yeah. It's just patchwork. They don't really have an identity as a like run team. Yeah, I think Leonard Fournette, I don't think it's desperation. I think it's just an element they're missing of like a guy, a powerful guy with some ability. But I like James Cook. I like what he brings. But this Buffalo team, like, they want to air it out and shit. Hey, you're not throwing to Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins. No. You're not. And, hey, the Chiefs aren't an aired out team like the years past where they won. They're not. Look at their offense this year. Yeah. It's not like that. And, and I still like the Chief, the Chiefs group more than the Bills because you got Kelsey and Diggs, Diggs cross each other off. Then you have other guys like Gracie Rice who's kind of popping, Sky Moore. Like, yeah, they're inconsistent, but they're young. The Bills are like, hey, D- Gabe Davis, you've been in the league seven years now or like six years. Get your shit together. Come on, dude. I just – I don't I don't buy the Bills one, and the Bengals are back. Lou Moreno did a great job. They Defense is getting after it. A double spy, like that's fucking crazy. And they play great. They just play great, man. Yeah, I, Jermaine Pratt. I'm buying at the Bengals. You said what? I'm buying the Bengals a lot. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah, they're 100%. Up there. Uh, Joe Burrow's obviously healthy. Uh, look, they got weapons all over the place. They they're even using their tight ends now. Uh, their run game. I would I would love for the Bills to really take a page out of their book when it comes to the run game, because Cincinnati's run game is nothing special. It's not like Mitchell on the Ravens or whatever something like that you know what i mean like it, it's not eye popping but it gets the job done it reminds me of like the chiefs a couple years ago 
We're like, yeah, we can't run the ball like crazy, but when we have to, we can. And that's how I think of the Bengals. And as far as this matchup goes, I just think until Sean McDermott takes a page out of some man-to-man against the Bengals, this is going to be the result every time. Because I'm saying it right now, Joe Burrow is one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best, against zone coverage. He's going to pick you apart. And yeah, what do the Bills play? It's primarily zone oh, coverage. They just, they just they just sit in it and they die in it. Like, and oh, they we'll die in it, that. dude. And you're not gonna beat Joe Burrow like that. You're gonna have to play man to man. You're gonna have to play him straight up some some way or another. And uh, yeah, hundred percent. I'm buying the Bengals. Burrow healthy, and their defense great. They got playmakers, man. Jermaine Pratt knocking the ball out of uh, Dalton Kincaid's hands while he's in the air doing a front flip i mean their their defense is fun to watch bro they're they're fun to watch and uh i can't wait to see that baltimore and Bengals matchup because i do think they're at the top of the afc right now i would throw as of right now i know it's a week-to-week thing with this nfl but chiefs third Bengals second ravens first as far as right now uh, that's all I know. Well, well I want I want to save it and deep dive it a little bit later if that's okay. okay. Um, Juan, let's just let's just hit some of these stinker fucking games if you're cool with it. Well, um, Arizona, Cleveland beat. Uh, yeah, Cleveland beat the Who shit cares? out of Arizona. Arizona's terrible. Yeah. They should have never got rid of Dobbs. It's just an indicator of them trying to tank. I don't buy that Kyler Murray shit. Um, Rams against Green Bay. This one, uh, Ripken just to not get the job done. They scored three points, the Rams. Uh, uh, and again, it, it kind of shows me the Packers flaws. Like they didn't just go up there and whoop the Rams ass. The game was close. I for would way say too this. Long. Uh, I, I kind of disagree with that. I, I think. Oh, uh, dude, you're fuck. They should have been torching them from the fucking minute. Yeah, the yeah, game yeah. started. No, I, the Rams I, suck. I feel like, I feel like that game should have been a lot more, but it was just shit on the green Bay side that, it was stupid turnovers. Like Aaron Jones wanted up fumbling like near the goal line. Uh, that hurt them. It's just stupid stuff like that. I, I feel like they could have scored more points. I, I feel like they beat their ass. Yeah, the score doesn't really say that. It should have been probably 30 to 3 rather than 20. But uh, I like what Green Bay did on offense. I, I like the fact that Aaron Jones was healthy and that you can completely notice mm-hmm. him. 20 plus carries. Uh, let's talk about. Uh, the Saints. That yeah. game sucked. Bag Baggett sucks. Uh, sorry, you're a good kid. I actually don't think he sucks. Like I think he showed enough to be like in the NFL next year. But they suck. The Bears suck up through and through. They have no offense, no defense. The O line plays awful. What What else about the Bears and um, Saints? Don't buy any Saint type. They beat a shitty team. Yeah. Who cares? Look, I I think the Saints are desperate for offensive help which is crazy to think man because they have so many weapons but to me it's a cry out for help when you have Taysom hill as involved as he is that's just my thing yeah look i i know it works and it looks good sometimes but i don't think that's gonna work in a playoff game i don't think that's gonna work against a great defense no a couple two plays a quarter that's it you give him maybe a play a quarter you know like he's out there I get, like, if you want to have him as a pass catcher because he's dynamic, I get that. But, like, the quarterback snaps, that bullshit, it's done, you know. And a team we thought was done one was Minnesota. Look, I'm going to give a little mini rant about the Falcons. You get a fucking quarterback, Arthur Smith. I don't believe we should be calling for Arthur Smith's job. I don't. Their quarterback play is so fucking horrendous. They should have blown out. They need to blow out the Vikings. Josh Dobbs, dude. When Jaron Hall got knocked out, I was like, oh, they're screwed. Like, they just – Dobbs was so much better than him. Uh, but Minnesota, good gutsy win. I think it was kind of like off adrenaline and shit that they got this win. But Atlanta, you know, clean it up, dude. You guys are too talented to lose to this team like that. It's just it's just disgusting to watch. I, I'm sorry, man. I'm just, I think that was a horrendous loss. Uh, yeah, it, it reminds me. It reminds me of the Raiders with Baker Mayfield. How a guy just comes in, doesn't know the playbook, still does his thing. That- does it, but does it scream to you like bad coaching, or it's just like God? The quarterback plays so bad. 
what pisses me off yeah. though is that yeah it's one thing to to have a quarterback issue i get that but it's another thing where it's like you're not even trying to get your good players involved on offense like why the fuck yeah. is john new smith so fucking involved in the offense more than kyle pitts please fucking tell me why at the goal line at the one yard line you don't even give it to drake london Kyle Pitts, well, Drake or you don't need, out this week, but or, yeah, or you it. don't even yeah, run the, shit, though. yeah, but you don't yeah. even run the ball with Bijan Robinson. Come on, dude, that's bullshit to me. And I yeah, don't know no, what they're... it is. I don't. I don't know if it's if it's him being uh, like trying to prove a point here. Like, hey, I'm not gonna listen to the media. I don't give a fuck about your fantasy teams. Like, it's beyond that, dude. Like, you're losing to fucking Joshua Dobbs. It's unacceptable. Yeah, who, ju- who just flew in? Who doesn't know the plays and shit? Like, come on. To me, to me, man, another stunt like that, and it's a fireball offense. I'm sorry, you, you, that can't happen. You, that just simply cannot happen, dude. And I understand they have a quarterback issue, Max, but utilize your players, man. And as far yeah, as no, I agree. I agree. Yeah, and they had him on the. That's the thing, Max. You even said it, like. Didn't you feel like, oh, like when Joshua Dobbs took that safety, you're like. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> beat him up. But they just can't convert, dude. And uh, they just use all the good plays. They're like, I get Kyle Pitts attract attention. But throw him the fucking rock. I don't get it, man. Uh, I don't get them. I, I'm just disappointed by Atlanta. And I the thing is, I, I get what you're saying because both of us were big fans of Arthur Smith when he was in Tennessee. I and still it, think he's a solid coach. Like, yeah. he's solid. Like, he's been solid for two years. But, like, this shit's annoying. Like, hey, fucking find a way. You tell me you can't find a way yeah. to get fucking Kyle Pitts the ball? Like, but by the way, sometimes I, I see him open and they just miss him all the fucking time. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. It's just fucking. They fucking suck. The quarterback yeah. play sucks. It's so annoying with the Falcons. Uh, on the Minnesota side, like you said, congrats to them. Uh they're in a weird spot. They're in a weird spot because they're fucking winning. Uh, they got JJ on IR. Do you bring back Justin Jefferson and do you play him for what? Maybe fighting for the seventh seed in the NFC? Uh, I, I'm I'm not sure, man. One thing I want to say about the Vikings though is their defense. Uh, I love the fact that they showed up in big moments yesterday. Brian Flores sending some crazy pressures and. I want to give a big shout out to me and a certain player. Shout out to Ivan Pace, bro. Ivan Pace, linebacker from Cincinnati, my one of my top five guys that I probably got laughed at because he went undrafted this year. I find it shocking that he didn't get drafted. He's out there for the Minnesota Vikings fucking balling, dude. I love the fact that he's starting for them. He's making plays. Shout out to Ivan Pace, bro. Height is not a fucking issue in the NFL, Max. Fuck it. <laughs> no. Oh, well. Oh, sorry. I hit my fucking mic. Um, well, you say that, and I'm going to transition because it's a perfect one. <laughs> What's up with your boy? What's up with your boy, Bryce Young? <sighs> Bryce What's Young, man. Him? Look, uh, terrible. Outing. That's the only thing I want to talk about. Like, I don't yeah. care about the Colts. Yeah, I'm ter- sorry. terrible. Like, terrible. As soon as we're done with Bryce Young, we're talking about CJ. Oh, yeah. Stroud. Only right. Only right. Uh, look, it was fucking shit, dude. Absolute shit. Uh, Kenny Moore, two pick sixes. Uh, to me, man, I feel like it's a it's a size thing. It is. I. I don't think he's like processing bad. I I don't think he's um, playing like horrendous, like he can't throw the ball or, you know what I mean? Mechanics are off. I I think it's his size. He he's kind of scared to get hit out there. Um, you know what? In his lot- defense, he's taking it. The O line sucks. He's yeah, the O line does suck. Um, yeah. And then another thing to say, his arm doesn't look live. That's what I do want to say about his abilities. Like his arm doesn't look big; it, it's small, and he's struggling to drive the ball at times, and it's an issue. And look, uh, that was ugly. That was really fucking ugly. And when you have C.J. Stroud out there just balling and scoring five touchdowns, breaking rookie records, it's tough to fucking just 
look at that as a Panthers fan because they're like, we picked the wrong guy. And I know we're only nine weeks into this season and Bryce Young got a full career ahead of him, but it's looking bad as of right now. What what did you see from Bryce Young? What are your thoughts? Well, I've just pulled up my scouting report of him um, and you, everything you said, I agree with. Um, I don't, I also want to add, I think it's the lack of athleticism to play the style he plays at where when he breaks the pocket one, I'm never afraid. Like he's going to house this fucking one. Like, yeah, you might pick up like five, 10 yards, but whatever. Like I'll live with you scrambling, bro. You want to scramble, go for it. Um, so I put, you know, like you said, it's a good arm, but it's not great. And yeah. like, you never see like some, Hey, you know what guys, sometimes arm strength does fucking matter. Yep. You know what Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and fucking Justin Herbert have in common? They have big arms. And people are going to say, what about Joe Burrow? What about Jalen Hurts? Hey, Joe Burrow has this. He is the most accurate fucking quarterback in the NFL. Jalen Hurts plays a brand not many quarterbacks can play. Yeah. But, you know, when you need to make game-changing throws, you got to deliver that fucking thing. Put yeah. it on a rope sometimes. Throw it into a tight window. He doesn't have that. And I think the size is a thing. Yeah, like, hey, guess what? If I'm 6'5", 250, I can take a bigger fucking beating. People say Anthony Richardson got hurt on a kind of a fluky play, broke his shoulder. But, hey, Josh Allen's pretty fucking healthy. Hey, Herbert's pretty healthy. Hey, Jalen Hurts is kind of a smaller guy, right, 6'1"? He's 225. He's a fucking tank. So there's something about Bryce Young that's just not clicking. And I get it. It's the Panthers. They suck. But if you're gonna fucking tell me CJ Stroud's playing with fucking all these great guys, you're out of you're out of control. Yeah. Is the O line better in Houston? Yeah. The receivers, it's a fucking wash, dude. They're not much better. Like it's just a bunch of no names and young guys. I would say this. Uh I feel like Tank Dell is pretty fucking good. I, I would give that to him. Oh, yeah. I, I agree hey, with Nico hey, Collins and Noah. Thielen, Thielen's probably the best out of the bunch still. Like him or Tank yeah. Dell, like Thielen's fucking really good. Yeah. But the truth is, uh, we see a guy who's struggling and Bryce Young and a guy in CJ Stroud that I'm going to say it right now is the best quarterback in the draft that came out. He's going to be the best one out of the bunch. He is a franchise changing draft pick. They're four and four, Juan. They're not that much better this year. The defense didn't just get 10 Hall of Famers. He's making game changing throws, 480 yards. I picked Tampa and I was feeling great. And then CJ Stroud said, No, fuck you. <laughs> they lost their kicker, have this running back, have the safety doing it, or running back who doesn't play. Like, hey, that's the NFL for you. Like, so you, a guy's got to step up sometimes. Yeah. CJ Stroud was out of this fucking world, man. Uh, we could do a video just on this game. He was so good. Like I said, every game of this year, but maybe besides the Panthers, it's been like he, when he played Georgia. Yeah, he is not that robot we saw. He's constantly moving, throwing off platform, throwing lasers. When when he throws, it looks effortless, right? Correct, correct. That's he's he's beyond special, man. I'm so proud of the kid. Don't know him, just rooting for him. Hey, I'm rooting for Bryce Young too. But this guy really like yeah. sold it to me before the draft. So I'm rooting for him a little harder. Yeah. So Absolutely. good job, CJ Stroud. Texans, you got the best quarterback at two. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah, they definitely have their guy. Um, you know, amazing performance. Uh, I agree with everything that Max said, man. Shout out to Max for having him as as the number one guy. Because uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, I don't see, I don't see Bryce Young playing up to that caliber. I, I, I just don't. I, I see him still being a really good quarterback in the league, but I feel like C.J. Stroud has the ability to be in this top tier. You know, he has the size, he has the arm, he has the processing, dude. Like, he's already on another fucking level. And one thing I want to say about him is that when you look for a quarterback, Max, especially in the NFL, to notice that he's elite or a good quarterback, he has to be able to elevate, elevate other guys around him. So he makes a Nico Collins look good. He makes a Noah Brown look really fucking good. That's what you need in a quarterback. And a lot of teams don't really know the difference between that. A lot of fans don't know the, the difference between that. And I say that in this way. It's like with Dallas. I feel like Dak Prescott is a, a good quarterback. I don't think there's he's not a 
terrible quarterback by any means. But the Cowboys treat him like if he's a carrier. They don't surround him with a, a whole shit ton of talent. If anything, they get rid of people. They got rid of a guy like Noah Brown. They get rid of guys like Amari Cooper. It's like, okay, dude, you're, you're left with C.D. Lamb, you know? And a guy like C.J. Shroud... He's working with less, and he carries them. He elevates them. So you can do that with a team like him. So I say this in saying that C.J. Shrout is one of those quarterbacks. He's an elite guy. He's a carrier. He's not going to be one of these guys where it's so essential to get a stacked team around him because that's the way we're going to win the Super Bowl. No, I feel like he has the ability to, to uplift guys and turn sevens on the field into fucking tens on Sundays. That's how I feel about CJ. I, I don't have anything else to add on. Uh, you made a great point about Dallas. I love that you shot on them for no reason. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, on top of them losing to the Eagles and like on top of a very poorly ref game, I might add. Yeah. But yeah, no, CJ Stroud's the real deal. Um, Guys like Jalen Hurts, they don't have the physical tools of a C.J. Stroud when it comes to the arm. But Jalen Hurts is an elite leader. He kind of gets everybody to go, the run game. You know, Jalen Hurts, like, I don't think he played his best game last uh, yes, last uh, yesterday one. He did just enough. He didn't turn the ball over. And he got knocked out of his hand once. But overall, one, I was like, these guys like Jalen Hurts, like C.J. Stroud, Burrow, Allen, Mahomes, Herbert, they're, that's pretty much all. And then teams get confused with maybe maybe Seattle fans think Geno's like that. He's not. I love Geno. He's a great guy, great player. Yeah. But there's a difference, Juan. Yeah, there's major difference. difference. And I, I wanted to bring that up because um, obviously we'll switch over to the Dallas and Philly game. You're going to shit on Dak, please. I'm, I'm no, no, saying. no. Look, I, I just. I thought he played well, I, honestly. I, I, um, I think he did too. And I, I never think that Dak is a shitty terrible quarterback let's shit on Dak and you know he's he's terrible no I just feel like there's a difference Max this is it's why we don't have a Super Bowl champion every single year it's it's hard to find these guys it's why the draft is really hard to to evaluate it's hard to find these guys and Dak is just he's just not a carrier bro stop the Dallas Cowboys need to stop treating him and fans need to stop treating him to the expectation of a Joe Burrow of a Patrick Mahomes. He's not that. He needs help. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of quarterbacks around the league who have the capabilities to win a Super Bowl, to win games. But they need some help around them. They're not carriers. That's just the plain fact. And he, he played a great game, Max. He did. But he wasn't good enough to, you know, stand the deficiencies of the defense getting roasted by Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown. It wasn't enough to for him to get on that last drive and score a touchdown. Like he's still missing guys. He missed the Jalen Ferguson wide open, you know, for an, an easy 15 yard gain to give him an even better chance to score at the end of the game. Like I don't question his heart. I don't question his passion. Great fucking play flipping, putting his body on the line. I get it. I, he's just not a carrier though. He's not elite. And once, yeah, once, no, I, once people get that, say, through, I, yeah, no, I, I agree with everything you said right there. I I thought yesterday he played probably the best game I've seen him play in a long yeah. time. He, you know, he was putting the ball. But you know what I was going to say? I told Dak this, um, Dak, our friend, uh, where's Michael Gallup? Where is this guy they're paying money to? I, I never see him anymore. It's all it's like the CeeDee Lamb show, which it's a yep. great show. Brandon Cooks, you sometimes get an appearance from him. But maybe on the fourth down, don't throw it to Jalen Tolbert. And people are going to say uh, you should throw it to CeeDee Lamb. He was kind of getting double covered. I get it. But I don't trust Tolbert right there. You know, I know he made a play earlier. Um, this Dallas team is weird, man. The defense. And, I get, and, and you know, Philly's a really good team. I, I think the Eagles are really good. But it just seems like in these big games, they're always playing from behind. Like, they never come out and just kind of take it to them, you know. Like, they go three and out, get scored on. Like, I thought the Eagles, if they had scored one time, could really have blown the game apart. But they just – Dallas' defense was stingy. They're good. Um, I don't know why coaches never take three anymore. I guess – why even have a fucking kicker? Might as well have another quarterback <laughs> on the team. Um, other than that, one, uh, I think I feel better about my team if I'm Dallas compared to what happened the last time we played a really good team in San Fran. But I guess it just stinks because it's, like, always against the good teams. They play from behind and – 
they didn't really shoot themselves in the foot like in you know dumb turnover, but there were so many penalties. I thought the rest sucked. Yeah. Were fucking trash. Yeah, they were. And uh, as it goes for Philly Max, I want to give a shout out to Chris Sims, and I'm kind of jealous the fact that he thought of this, but uh, I'm not saying the the talent wise and the whole make of the team, but they have a lot of resemblance of the new England Patriots on how they win games. You remember back in the day in the dynasty days for the Patriots. I know it seems long ago now, Yeah, well, but last year was a great week dynasty. For the Patriots. <laughs> exactly. But I'm talking about the Brady era, obviously. And you would think you have them. You think you have them on the ropes and somehow some way or another, they come out with the win. They make just enough plays. They do just enough things. Like, it's just they wind up winning. And that's how I feel with Philly, man. It's just like you got to catch them on a really bad day like the Jets did. You know, Jalen Hurts throwing some turnovers. But it's really hard to beat them, man. Because Dallas had them. They, how many times have the Eagles been on the ropes this year that you felt like, oh, shit, like they're down in the fourth or they got to make a play right here. And they wind up making it. Against Washington, no. they wind up making just yeah. enough plays. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, I would say the Eagles that didn't play their best game, and they haven't really played their best brand of football, but they just somehow are eight and one. Like people were like, they're not that good. They always seem to like, hey, they're eight and fucking one, dude. Yeah. Part of it, look two years of this shit. The nucleus is obviously the the defensive line. That's the best part. Uh Probably second that to, to A.J. Brown, and it is close, but I'm sorry. The the D-line is crazy when you have Brandon Graham in the most perfect situation ever to come off the bench and just make big plays like that. Uh, Josh yeah. Josh Sweat, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, underrated. Underrated, underrated as fuck, dude. Uh, Josh Sweat. Yeah. But, uh, look, Philly's obviously top dog uh, in the NFC. We'll see how the Niners well, respond. With you saying that, one, we've talked about all the games. I think we should do our uh, – I want to do a little tear talk conversation. Well, we didn't talk about all the games. No. I waited, oh, I waited, I I waited the until time. the end. No, I tried oh. to get rid of this bullshit. Let's go. <laughs> Have a 20-minute rant about a fucking four and five team that hey, no look. other team gets. Go ahead. Hey, look, I'm man. not even talking about this game. <laughs> so, look, Raiders wind up getting the win. Obviously, Max is being a hater and – you know, he's going to chalk it up to Giants are terrible. Raiders beat them, whatever. Um, look, I get it was the Giants, Max. I guess that uh, I get you that Daniel Jones tore his ACL. Uh, I find it absolutely amazing that he dropped back to pass with a torn ACL. <laughs> it's just his knee just buckled down on him, dude. Fucking insane. Uh I just I, I thought it meant a lot more, bro. Uh, the the Raiders haven't blow out anyone since 2017. Max doesn't know anything about that because he's a spoiled little brat with the Eagles, so he forgets how it feels how to lose. But uh, I love it, dude. I absolutely mm-hmm. love it. Mm-hmm. Antonio Pierce came out, did what the fuck he said he was gonna do. Offense looked good with Aiden O'Connell. Uh, got the run game going with Josh Josh Jacobs. Eight sacks. Um, everyone wants to say, yeah, it's the Giants, but hey, look at the Bears. We're supposed to destroy the Bears. Got our ass kicked by the Bears. That's the way I see it. Like, no one gave us any fucking, you know, pass for that. It's like, it's the NFL, bro. Anyone can get beat any given Sunday. You come out, you dominate like that after your head coach gets fired, your GM gets fired. What? What? Say something. Mm-hmm. Say something. No, no other fucking dog shit team gets this much screen time. <laughs> I disagree. I've been seeing a bunch of people talk about it. I just feel like you're 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 a hater. No, from us. From us. I'm fucking every week. It's like ten minutes on the Raiders. Go ahead. We spent Go ten ahead. minutes on the Eagles. No, we didn't. We spent about like eight, and we yeah, spent like, like two minutes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, let me be one. Oh, this fucking team. <laughs> when I met my blow, they fucking picked me up. Fuck McDaniels. Hey, the only I'm thing. I'm so happy. The Antonio only thing Pierce, is. I just buy the energy. I'm going <laughs> to Antonio Pierce right now. All right. Oh, that like, fucking Devontae Adams. Josh, Josh Jacobs was smoking a cigar after the game. giving out ga- the, the. It's just the Raiders are back. 
come on, just fucking. I never said that. Talk yourself. I never talk said that, yourself though. into this. I never talk said yourself that. into this shit. No, I'm talk not gonna talk in. myself into it. But I find they it. play the Jets next week, and you're gonna be like, "That's <laughs> fucking two. Antonio Pierce, well, uh-uh, like you fucking talking about. And you what, the what did you Dolphins think though? Are you just talking? Come on, Max. Oh, are you, are come you, on, you're dude. better than like that. you had the you had the new coach energy. It's like you just bought a new car. Your dick's hard as soon as you drive off the lot. Like your dick's never felt as big. You're like, oh, I'm really usually five. Now I'm like six. Oh my god, <laughs> like the world can get it. But like the truth is, one you'll play a real team. You'll be like. I hate the fuck. Hey, I love I love how Max I love how Max is chalking it up. No, so just ran. No, but rant. last week, but last week you were over here fucking all over the Giants talent saying, Oh, they got a really great defense. They're way better than the Raiders talent wise. Hey, they're way better. You have no quarter. Aiden O'Connell might be that oh, guy. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm yeah. kidding. He's a fucking I, I just, bunk, look, I would just say, eat your words. They got showed up on the field. The Giants got showed up. I mean their quarterback got which that injury sucks, by the way. Like yeah. that. I don't think have you ever seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I don't think so. I find it fucking torn ACL crazy. on dropping back. Like yeah. you think Dable you think, like it got fucked up earlier in the game. <laughs> no, it, it did. Like, it got he he tore his ACL obviously early in the game. I feel like Dable told his ass like get the fuck back out there. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was it was uh, the Giants. I want to say one are officially dead. Like yeah. officially. It's a nightmare season for them. Uh, every Carson that, Wentz, every yeah, calm up, yeah, every, save the shit. Everything that has gone wrong for the Giants, it has happened, dude. Um, Evan Evan Neal, uh, wash he, bum. He looks bad. It's pretty bad for yeah. Evan Neal. Really, I I I don't. I feel like that's the most wrong we've ever been about a prospect. Yeah, for real. No, I don't. It, get, it was terrible. And bro, there's no fucking like he played right tackle in college. Like yeah. you, I get it. He played left tackle again. He was he's I don't know. I don't know. He could turn it around, I guess. But it just so, looks so bad. So what do you do with uh, Daniel Jones though? Because he's yeah, you be- shelf you shelf you shelf him. You bring him back next year. Like you guys, it wasn't the day ball's fault for this team. It wasn't Daniel Jones' fault. Like again. When your O line is that fucking putrid, like you can't, tri- you can't even triple team a guy correctly. Like they're just, hey, it's hard to do anything on offense when you have no time to throw, right? Isn't it usually? Yeah. yeah. Right. So, I, firing Dave Ball's a mistake. I mean, obviously, no, you if you can get like Caleb Williams, you take him. But I don't think Daniel. Like, if you had to go into Daniel Jones next year, I'm not too. I'm not that bent out of shape. Like, there's problems on this team deep, deeper than the quarterback. Yeah. We'll see, man. Uh, they're obviously going to get a high pick this year because their record is putrid. But uh, we'll see what happens with Daniel Jones. It sucks that they're going to have to wait for him for a whole fucking year, dude. And they're paying them. It really sucks they gave you fucking hope. That's what sucks. <laughs> the one thing I'll say is, did you hear the McDaniel story about um, how Antonio Pierce gave a speech? And he's like, yes. like the Giants. And he's like, hey, don't ever talk about the That Patriots. is There's That like- is absolutely that's hot crazy my dick was like just so hard when he said that i was like what a story what a coat like how is that when did he do that last week yeah so they the players had oh a, my god it was before the monday night game so like, players geez, ripped into him fucking idiot yeah it, it, it's bad everything look you know who i want to give a big shout out to i want to give a shout out to brandon marshall because brandon marshall has been screaming at the top of his lungs like McDaniels is terrible. Stop hiring him. People need to understand like this dude is dog shit. And I think I think it's right, dude. The the way it's so crazy, Max, that it the way that the Raiders celebrated and the way that they they played just shows how this much was they their hated. Super Bowl. Yeah, like they fucking hated the dude. The fact that yeah. they were smoking cigars in the locker room after a regular season win. That's how much they hated him. That's how much relief they had. Fucking insane, dude. Uh, Pretty bad. Let's let's talk uh, Pittsburgh and Tennessee. What'd you see from that game? You like what you see from uh, Levis? I did. I did for a big part of it. I just think he's just young. He's gonna take some licks. Uh, mm-hmm. One thing again, like kind of harping back to Bryce Young, and I'm not trying to shit on him. Will Levis just kind of looks the part. Like he makes some big boy throws. You yeah. can see the talent, the arm talent, especially 
which is kind of important for quarterbacks. So I like what I've seen from Will Levis, and obviously it wasn't going to be as good as the opener because that does shit doesn't happen. But overall, I liked what I saw. And Pittsburgh just wins these gutsy games. They're the I think they still fucking are horrible, and they're five and three. Yeah. I hate to say it. I, you know what? I had, I kind of seen it coming. That's why I picked them. I was like, man, Pittsburgh winds up winning these ugly games. Uh, Tennessee, on the other hand, I, I really wish they went fire sell. Uh, I, I think that was the right move to do. They should have sold Henry as high as they can, DeAndre Hopkins, but they didn't. They're with this team who I feel like it's going to get them in the middle, and that's the worst place to be. Uh, you don't want to do that. I feel like Levis has showed enough to let him be the real oh. deal. But one, if if they were, don't you think a full fire sale might harm Levis's development? Like, isn't it kind of good if you give him DeAndre for a year? I just don't feel like. But but the thing is, I just don't feel like their their backups are all that bad. Like, hey, give the fucking car keys to Tajay Spears. I don't feel like that would be a bad thing. Like DeAndre no. Hopkins gone. Like, okay, whatever. Like he's I, I could see the reason for keeping him though, especially if Levis kind of like hey, if Levis plays like like he's kind of been playing, they could make the playoffs. Like I know Jacksonville has a firm grip on there, but they could sneak into a wild card, don't you think? Yeah, because their AFC, defense is solid. Well, the AFC is basically tied up at at uh four and what? No, three and five. I think there's a there's a bunch of teams that are yeah. three and five or four and five. And it's okay. the Patriots at the oh. bottom. That's it. This is the perfect time to give me some tier talk in the AFC. Okay. Give me the top dogs. And you can include as many top dogs as you want in that for the AFC. Whatever a top dog is to you. I might regret this. I'm not putting them in, but I'm going to put in two teams. It's the Ravens and the Bengals. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. Then who would be your next tier down? Next tier down will be the Chiefs. Uh, surprisingly, I will put the Dolphins in there. Uh, I will put Jacksonville, definitely. And I would put, I want to say that's it. Maybe, uh, Cleveland. I'll throw Cleveland in there. Okay. That's it. And then everyone else is just like outside. Yeah. Looking at. Every like Jets, Chargers, Raiders, and everyone else. It's just. A okay. maybe, but quick, quick first round out. My 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 top dogs would be the Chiefs, the Ravens, the Bengals. Is your sole reason for the Chiefs being in there just like, hey, you can't count on Andy Reid and Mahomes? Correct, and I mean they're six and two. Like they're having a great fucking year. Like yeah. you'd fucking be for six and two right now. <laughs> like. You'd be like blowing the homeless guy on my street corner, like, "Hey, dude, six and two, like, fuck yeah." So Max no, I was loving the... doing that this tonight. What is wrong yeah. with you? What... Yeah, I was doing some so earlier. <laughs> you know, ever since the Rangers won, I've just been giving them out. But uh, um, second, the tier. Chiefs, the Bengals, the Ravens, top tier. Second gotcha. tier, the top of it's Jacksonville, um, Jacksonville, Miami, I'm one, Miami. But you put Cleveland Man, Buffalo, in there? No, I wouldn't. Just because the question of the quarterback. Okay. Like, if I was going to go one tier down, like I would have like four tiers. And there's like some really funky teams, like the Bills. Like the Bills just get hot one fucking week, and they're just like, oh fuck, like they can beat anybody. No. The 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 Browns give you that chance. Um, AFC West, there's really nobody else. Like you can't the Chargers, you can't count on them for shit. Yeah, like uh, you can. Houston's see- a year away from being in this shit. Like yes. Houston's fun and spunky. Yeah. Um, NFC, AFC, yeah. The Patriots, no. Jets, no. Nothing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So top tier was them. And then I got the Jags. I'm just drawing blanks right now. I'm like fucking crazy. So out of. But you, out you of, heard my tears. Yeah, no, 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 no. So out of the second tier, Max, who do you feel the most confident at the end Jacksonville. of the season? Thank you. Jacksonville. Yeah, we're on the same sure. page. That can be. I think Jacksonville is low key knocking on the tier at the top of the first tier. To be honest, with they you. just they to me they need to show one yeah complete to show game. one big win. Just yes. like if they like let's see they're right. they're playing so if they Six. fucking take it to the Niners this week. Yeah, I'm like yeah. I'm so in they're on five it. and two, so, right? 
Six and two. They're six six and, and two. fucking two. Yeah. That's really go. good. Yeah. They lost to the Chiefs. Was that's not a bad loss at all. Yeah. Uh so one. Let's go to the NFC side of things. I'm going to start this time. Top dogs in the N- NFC are Philadelphia Eagles, San Francisco 49ers, but they're they're teetering right now the way they've been playing. Yeah. Um. It's pretty much it. No, <laughs> no one from the South, the North. No, I, I can't give Detroit the pass yet because that they got fucked up by Baltimore. So then my next tier down would be Detroit. Seattle. Is there anyone else? Dallas. Dallas for sure. Yeah. Um Where would you throw I don't the feel like- Would you throw the Bucks in there? Did you see a little something from the Bucks? No, no? they're three and five. I, I don't trust them. And then my next year down, like Spunky is kind of like the Saints. You don't know what no. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did I say the Lions in this tier? Lions for sure. Okay. Yeah, Lions. Lions are t- top of tier two, for me. I think, and everyone else is kind of just like a jumble of shit. Like Green Bay, you can't count on Atlanta's fucking just shooting themselves on the foot. Like you know that meme of the dude who like shoves the gun in his mouth, like Shane Gillis. He's like this, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, no, 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 and then he turns it on them. That's Atlanta. Okay. That's Atlanta. Uh, All right. Yeah, I think I think the NFC is pretty simple, right? There's like two tiers really. And everyone else is kind of a yeah, jumble of I w- shit. I would throw it in two tiers. So my mine will be three teams actually. I would put uh Philadelphia, obviously, San Francisco, and I would throw in Detroit. I, I think they're an elite tier. Um yeah, I know they got their ass kicked by Baltimore, but I have confidence in them uh that they can still be in the mix and possibly make it to the NFC championship. Uh that second tier, uh definitely Dallas mm-hmm. and Seattle, that's that's really it. So. That that's yeah, it. I think anyone else you're really grasping for like oh like because yeah. it's wide open. The NFC South is like just a joke. They're a fucking joke. I I like what I see from I I know the Bucks lost and you know CJ Shroud fucking shitted on them, but I I do think the Bucks are one of those annoying teams because their defense is legit. They need to win some games though because what's gonna happen with them. Is the defense is gonna get tired of this shit of losing, and it's not gonna probably play as hard. That's what's and gonna the happen. Truth with is, the I don't even think Baker's been that bad for them. No, he hasn't. Just... No. He's been really fucking yeah. good. Um, but yeah, we're halfway through the season. That's the way it's looking right now. Uh, Max, let's go ahead and pick one team each in these two categories. Okay, just came up with this on the fly. Okay, pick one team out of the AFC. To have a decline in the second half of the season, and then pick one team in the AFC to have a basically incline in this season in the second half. Who are you picking? Would you kill me if would you kill me if I said the Chargers for like just no? I I like think that. no. I, I think that's that's a completely. Uh, like, I wouldn't I'm be mad say, at you if you said um, Denver. No. You know what? There was uh, let's ride. Uh, team decline one is Bills. I think it's like it's, it's not going to get prettier if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, AFC, I'm going to pick the Browns. I'm going to pick the Browns. Mm. To ascend, ascend. Okay. I think Deshaun's going to kind of get healthy, figure shit out like slowly but surely. Yeah. Uh, let me hear yours. Uh, mine's going to be Pittsburgh for the decline. Uh, I I don't oh, think they're going to keep one, this please. up. Uh, my team. They're court. minus thirty point differential. <laughs> yeah, what I, the fuck? The analytic kids are fucking kicking and screaming the way that the fucking Pittsburgh Steelers. The Bills are, are plus eighty and they have a shitty record. What the <laughs> I fuck? Know, it's crazy. So I'm I'm picking the Steelers. I don't think this shit lasts. I, I'm not looking at their schedule right now, but I hope they don't have an easy schedule going forward. I'm hoping they got some fucking uh, shitters in Houston. there. Houston would have been a nice one for a send, by the way. That's Just okay. That's mention. that's my. Are you really going to say that? Yes, I was really going to oh, say. Oh wow! That. And look, I'm I'm would. not going to say that they can beat obviously the top dogs, but I can totally see them like going on a run here and really making a run to the playoffs. And 
depending on how Jacksonville is, maybe catch up to to Jacksonville and win the AFC South. I don't think that would be crazy to think. Uh, You know, like we said, Jacksonville hasn't had a complete game. So it can go either way, you know. Uh, Another team to mention for the decline in the AFC is the Dolphins. I think that's probably one of the obvious ones is maybe they just start to fucking decline. They had their easy part of the schedule, and I'm pretty sure their schedule gets really, really tough in the second part of the season. Uh, Let's go to the NFC. Who are you picking for your ascending team, Max? God, it's uh, it's kind of thin. I'm going to go with the Packers. uh, I think they're going to figure shit out. Yeah, They're going to figure shit out. A team that's going to decline – It's tough. It's it's hard pick them. I think it's the 49ers. I think I think they're going to be good. They're going to be fine, but we're not going to see the dominance. Like it's I think it's going to be like 10 and 6 this year, 10 and 7. It's not going to be 13 and 4. They're fucking up everybody. They got a tough game this week. Uh 49ers schedule in the upcoming weeks is going to be Jags, Bucks, Seahawks. Those are none of those games scream cakewalk. Yeah. All right. Um Descending team. Stop teams. fucking honking, you fucking <laughs> hobo. <laughs> Tell that guy. Go beat his oh, ass. Come on, dog. Uh, descending teams before Max comes to my house and beats the shit out of whoever's honking. Um, I know this is crazy to think, and I know I was on them hardcore last week, but I think there's a big possibility right here in a candidate that's looking me in the eye, the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Descend? Yes. I think it's possible. Uh, I yeah, I'm with yeah. it. I yeah, hear you. I'm just talking about teams who a hey, they got off to a hot start, but you know maybe they go three and five in the next part of the season. Like that's bad. Uh, ascending teams, as far as you know, shocking some people and going on a run here. I really want to hitch my wagon to Atlanta, but then again, I don't because do it at, at this Be point. I, I don't trust that fucking team. Um. But I'm going to say it's Minnesota. I, I'm going to say it's them. Wow. That's fine. That's okay. I, I, I like what I that's see from Minnesota. Um, you know, you like what you saw. I, I, I do. Tough, my boy. It was. It was. But I, I like it. I like I think they're locked. Yeah. I, when you do shit like that, you win with a backup quarterback. It gives you some fucking boost. And I feel like their defense is pretty good. I like Brian Flores. Mm-hmm. And Dobbs is not bad, dude. Dobbs is not fucking bad. One no. bit. We said it. We said it before. It's like he wasn't the problem in Arizona. Look at they just passed for like forty fucking yards. Yeah. That that fucking trash and can I, clip I, tune. I don't I don't trust Green Bay. I was I really wanted to pick him, but I, I can't. I can't do it. Cannot. Yeah. No, I hear you one. I hear you. Yeah. But uh I think that's gonna do it, man. We're an hour in. Uh make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, comment down below any thoughts, opinions that you guys have. Um, We thank you guys for watching. This has been week nine reactions. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, no, we'll see you guys this week. We'll see you guys for the pickums. I thought we had it off. (laughs) We'll see you guys for the pickums. That'll be out Thursday. Okay, so we'll see y'all for week 10. We out. Peace.